that has a black bun. Oh, sure, but when I turn black for Halloween, I'm setting back race relations. <laughs> Parties in Arizona spent nearly two hours chasing a pair of llamas through the streets after they escaped from a petting zoo. But thankfully, this story has a happy ending. No one was hurt, and the llamas were safely returned to their prison of unwanted touching. <laughs> well, guys, hi. <laughs> This was pretty crazy, uh, but look, it's not the end of the world, okay? Because this is the end of the world. <laughs> That's right, scientists basically published an obituary for the Earth this week, and people were like, yeah, but like, what does Taylor Swift think about it? American Apparel wants to stop using what they call Instagram hoes for their ads and instead hire professional models. But good news, they're still gonna make them up to look like they've been kidnapped by human traffickers. <laughs> Because when I see ads for American Apparel, I don't want to buy clothes. I want to see those women rescued by Liam Neeson. <laughs> During opening day at Chicago's Wrigley Field, lines for the bathrooms were so long that fans resorted to urinating in cups, a move Chicagoans are calling, hey, free beer, and oh, no. <laughs> A woman, in, a woman in Utah survived after her SUV got stuck in the snow and mud for nearly a week. The woman says she couldn't have made it without her children. Her delicious, delicious <laughs> children. Any observer said that President Trump looked bored, but I think he was just getting an idea. He was thinking, wait, before this whole Mueller report comes out, I could just fake my own death and escape to the last place anyone would ever look for me, <laughs> Mexico. And you know Trump will be the first guy to ever fake his own death via tweet. <laughs> Interesting fact, Gritty was actually the first mascot ever based on the crayon drawings of a five-year-old who saw his parents murdered. <laughs> the New York Times also published a report accusing the Trump family of cheating the government out of $500 million in taxes. Personally, I think the IRS should just seize all the money the Trump family hid and give it to Puerto Rico. Or... <laughs> Or, better yet, they could make Trump's biggest nightmare come true and let a bunch of Puerto Ricans come live in his buildings. I begged you not to do that. <laughs> the author who wrote children's books under the name Lemony Snicket announced that he is donating $1 million to Planned Parenthood. It's an amount that will cover a whole series of unfortunate events. <laughs> Besides, I, listen, Kyle Kaepernick is not the only one trying to raise awareness during a football game for a sad cause. They're turning the uniforms pink for breast cancer tomorrow, and nobody's upset about that. I bet if the police went around shooting unarmed boobies, everybody would take a knee. <laughs> it was only twice. <laughs> it's important to note that this deal is not a treaty and won't be put into writing until June. But when it comes to preventing a nuclear holocaust, the last thing I want to hear is, don't worry, I got it all up here. <laughs> then last night, Trump apologized the way a drunk ex would at midnight on Facebook. <laughs> he said that Bill Clinton has told him much worse on the golf course, which might be true, but you know Bill Clinton said it way smoother than that. <laughs> Mitt Romney announced Friday that he would not be running in the 2016 presidential race. <laughs> to which Republicans responded, no, please, no. <laughs> okay. It looks like she's like cool on safari, you know, but don't, don't, it's Disneyland. It's Disneyland. <laughs> uh, this is also about Disney. This is what she texted me. Uh, Disneyland having trouble with the measles Maybe they should rebrand it as mouse pox, then show Mickey with spots. <laughs> On serious note, this is why vaccination is so important. <laughs> Duke beat Wisconsin 68-63 to win the NCAA championship. Afterwards, disappointed Wisconsin students took to the streets to riot the only way white people know how. Without consequences. <laughs> You lucky bastards. <laughs> Researchers have announced they have found the strongest evidence yet of flowing water on Mars. 
Sadly, all the fountains had signs that read, greens only. <laughs> got a long way to go on that planet, too. And you know, this isn't even the worst thing he's ever said. This is just the worst thing he said to Billy Bush while miked on an Access Hollywood bus. The most telling thing Trump said was, they'll let you do anything because you're a celebrity. So you're literally explaining your entitlement. Mitt Romney is reportedly considering running for president in 2016. In a related story, Charlie Brown is planning on finally kicking that football. <laughs> I mean, we're sharing a bed together, and conservatives are all sprawled out in the middle while liberals are on the edge, passive-aggressively tweeting. If we, want this, if we want this relationship to work, we got to cuddle, man. We got to talk. Get familiar. You can't just wait until you're in desperate need of attention and then poke her in the back with your penis and ask, you sleep? Sorry. It, it's just true. Anytime my friends come back from vacation, they tell me two things, what they ate and who they had sex with. And I'm scared. I'm scared that soon Earth is gonna be alien Thailand, where strange alien businessmen make us do weird tricks with ping pong balls. I don't got the hips for that, Colin. This week, Colin Joe spent three days in his dressing room crying like a bitch. Then I found out the Mets lost. People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive is Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. He once again beat his longtime rival, Dwayne the Scissors Johnson. <laughs> I must say, Dwayne Johnson is a very, very, um, he's a very, very nice man. I listened to one of his, uh, I listened to one of his interviews with Oprah. It was really one of the best interviews I have ever listened to. He's a very, very nice man. Down to earth and kind individual. It's a very, very nice down to earth and kind individual. Somebody that we can all copy from, you know, from wrestling to movies. He's like killing the game, you know. It's a, it's a very astonishing man. I must say, somebody that we can emulate from, uh, copy from. I'm so proud. You listen to him anyway, and you should, because he's got that loud, sticky, icky oil. <laughs> ain't easy to find. The New Jersey governor, Chris Christie, has filed paperwork to form a political action committee, which is step one toward a possible presidential campaign. However, Christie maintains at step zero on his Fitbit. <laughs> Karen Kelly begged me not to tell that joke. <laughs> How could any guy even be against birth control if it means better sex and no kids? We don't even get any of the side effects. Women do, and they're fine with it. Honestly, I don't know how we're getting away with this. <laughs> it knocks their entire chemistry out of whack. Women are basically putting their bodies through global warming just so I can keep pretending to have a latex allergy. <laughs> well, guys, we were off for a month, but conveniently, so was the government. President Trump, the man who said he would own the shutdown, clearly does not care about the people who are working unpaid, who can't afford basic things like food. But why would he care? He's a billionaire who controls all the hamburgers in the world. <laughs> Facebook, Facebook has introduced a new feature allowing people to connect with someone they have a secret crush on. To learn more, watch a future episode of Dateline called The Facebook Murders. <laughs> Robots are even taking the jobs that we thought we'd never lose. Like laid off factory workers became truck drivers because those trucks ain't gonna drive themselves. Well, guess what? In about two years, those trucks are gonna start driving themselves. <laughs> and white people freaking out over nothing news. A mall in... <laughs> in 2013, Putin awarded Tillerson the Order of Friendship, which is one of the highest honors Russia gives to foreigners. In fact, the only higher honor Russia can give you is President of the United States. <laughs> Insiders are saying that the Obama administration is extremely upset that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu plans to ask Congress for additional sanctions against Iran, saying that he will, quote, pay a price, which brings the number of countries that have threatened Israel up to an even all of them. 
I don't think there's ever been two more unlikable candidates. Not one time in this election have I heard anyone say, you know what, I like them both. Donald Trump is now the oldest person ever elected president and has never held a job in government. If you're 70 and you have no experience, you couldn't get hired at Target. <laughs> Police in North Carolina say that a 12-pound package of marijuana washed up on a beach. For some perspective, this is what a 12-pound package of marijuana looks like. When you looked at that horrible woman last night, she would not be my first choice, that I can tell you. Wow. That wouldn't be my first choice for a defense. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, clarified the meaning of the common chant, death to America, saying that it does not mean death to America, but instead refers to America's policies. You know, sort of how, like, the people outside are chanting, dump Trump, but they really just mean, what are his ideas on health care? <laughs> At the Republican debate, Senator Marco Rubio called for a return to vocational training, saying that we need, quote, less philosophers and more welders. But I don't know, I think maybe we need less presidential candidates and more working senators. <laughs> it was reported that Sam Smith has agreed to pay Tom Petty royalties for his hit song, Stay With Me, due to its resemblance to Petty's song, I Won't Back Down while Petty has agreed to pay royalties to Disney due to his resemblance to Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> That's very interesting, you know, sharing royalties and one on like that. I mean, if, if Disney is using, using this, a picture of you in any of their... Um, any of their stuff, for sure, they should pay royalties to you, you know, they shouldn't use your, your picture or your content just like that, you know, at least you should get at least where it is, or even um, or even commission from it. You know, you said Donald Trump is the oldest person to be president. No, but Joe Biden is now way more the oldest person to be president of the United States of America. You know, not not Donald Trump, but uh, Joe Biden. He is the oldest president of America. <laughs> 